Well, hello, welcome to Brambleberry. So last night we had kind of a chilly night out here. Of course, we just got the uh, the kitties and I woke up, oh, I don't know, probably about three o'clock in the morning and um, I checked the temperature on my phone and it dropped down to the 30s. And it wasn't supposed to do that. It was supposed to be in the 40s last night. Uh, and so I was a little concerned about the cats being outside and we don't have a house for them yet. We have like bedding and stuff for them. But, uh, so we brought them in last night and that was an adventure. Um, I brought them in and let them kind of roam around the camper for a little bit. And that quickly, um, became an issue because they were climbing and clawing at everything, of course, because they're cats and that's what they do. Um, so we brought their crate in and crated them and they weren't too happy about that. They just don't like being inside. They'd rather be outside, but it was just a little too chilly last night. So today I'm going to try and build a cat house that's insulated for them so that we won't be quite as concerned about them uh, getting too cold. So come along and I'll show you as much of the process as I can. Uh, other thing about this cat house is I don't want to go buy a bunch of stuff to do it. We ordered a like a cat bed, like a heated one that you can plug in. And so it needs to be able to fit that. So I need to make it to dimensions that that'll fit into. And we probably won't use it a lot, but like when we have super cold nights, I want something a little extra for them in there. So I'm like, right now I'm kind of scrounging around for materials uh, out here at the homestead to try to put this together without having to go to the big box store, which is too far away to go to, in my opinion, right now. So here's what I've got so far. So I got some plywood, which is helpful, and I'm sure I got screws, enough screws to do this, but I did find this box, and this was actually brought from our old house. I didn't build it. Whoever's there before us built it, but I think I'm gonna use this as the base for the house. Uh, turn it over, you know, so that this this will be the floor, and then I can put a piece of foam insulation in here to insulate it from the bottom. But this should be plenty big enough for the dimensions that I need, even enough so I think I'm going to maybe leave like a little porch area here for them to jump up on. I haven't decided if I'm gonna like put this up on stilts or something so it's up high or I don't know. I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. As with most of my projects, I just have ideas in my head and go with it and we see where they lead and what it comes out to be. Most of the time we get something decent out of it, but who knows. I also have a couple of two by fours, which should come in handy. And I had to do some digging from in the shed in there, but I have several pieces of the siding left over from the solar shed build, so we can make it look purty on the outside as well, which hopefully the uh, missus will appreciate. Uh, for the roof, I'm probably gonna make it a removable roof, but I have some leftover pieces of tin here too that I can put on there. And the whole thing is gonna be insulated. I don't know if I'll have enough, but I've got several little scraps of this uh, foam board left over from the trailer skirting that I'm gonna try and use for this. If I don't have enough of that, I can come up with something else to try to insulate it more. So I'm working with two by fours here. So I gotta make some walls with them. This is my foam board insulation. So it'll fit in the thickness of this. My thought right now is to make a frame for each side and then I may have to make one for the back too so that the foam board will fit properly because it's just a little bit wider than the two by four is thick. So I may put another little frame back here for a while, but I have to make sure that my interior dimensions are, um, they can fit 18 inches by 14 inches, which I think should work because that's the size of the heating pad that we have. All right, so I got my base plates cut for my uh, little walls here. Um, that's the side walls, not the front and the back ones. 
I'm gonna do those here in a second. But the next thing I need to do is figure out how tall I want this to be. Okay, so we got the sides kind of done here. Got my base plates and my sides there done. And uh, so there's a angle down here so the roof will sit on top and then go back that way. Uh, next step I'm gonna do is make the front and back walls to fit in between here. All right, so change of plans. I wanted to put plywood on the inside of this thing to kind of seal everything up and then put, you know, insulation in there. And I was realizing that if I put those end walls on, I won't have anything to nail my plywood to. So before I make the end walls to size, I'm going to make plywood pieces to put on the inside of the box. I set you know, one of those sides on this piece of plywood and I'm just gonna, and I marked, and I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna duplicate that further up, move it up and cut out another piece. And then that way they both should match. They might not be completely square, but they'll be close. After all, it is just a cat house. All right, I got a little more progress here. The inside walls done on the sides and some supports across there. Probably not my finest work. Well, who am I kidding? Most of my work is not fine. But hopefully it'll be fine enough for a feline. Got all the walls on now. So the general shape of the box. So now I'll have to figure out where to go next. Probably should do the sides, siding, and then start trying to fit insulation in. So I'm at a point where i um, wanting to close in uh, the back wall of this thing. And some of this foam board insulation that I'm using to insulate. I'm just kind of using pieces to piecemeal together here. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough for it, but I'm going to use what I got and see how far I can get. So this is the back. I just got a bunch of pieces put in there. Um, I left the side open. This is the top that's facing down here, the way I got it now. But I left the side walls open on top so I can put stuff down in there whenever. But this back part here, to put siding on it, I'm gonna have to close it in completely. So I need to get that insulation in there. And there's the sides, I got siding on them. I don't have anything on the front yet. Since I got all these little gaps and stuff in here, I'm gonna put some spray foam in. And fill this all up. All right, got a hole cut through and got this uh, insulation put on the front here. That's the uh, front piece of siding that's going to go on there. I already tested the hole for the cat and the cats can get through. The little one can for sure. The uh, bigger one I think is going to be fine too though. All right, kind of got distracted doing stuff for I to do some videos, but I'm working on the roof right now. This is going to be a removable roof. Um, this is I don't know what side it is, but I've got foam in here for insulation that's gonna fit over the cat house portion. And I'm gonna put the metal roof on top of this after I put a piece of, or these uh, plastic pieces down on here. So the plastic pieces will go down and then the metal will go on the top. All right, there is the roof. It's pretty much done, I guess. So it just, lifts up I put a little piece of two by four there as a stopper to keep it from sliding down it's pretty heavy so I don't think it's going anywhere I might eventually put some latches or something on it there but right now we're just trying to get this all uh, set up so our kitties can have a warm place for the night Okay, so I have been working on the cat house for most of the day, and I think it's time to call it quits for the day. But I think I got it good enough for them to use 
for the night and then uh, I can make some adjustments later, add some stuff, um, put a little bit more insulation. I want to get that the entryway uh, a little bit smoother for them, maybe get some PVC pipe or something and put in that hole so it's not so jagged, but I think it'll work for tonight. One of them's already sitting on the porch on the front. I put both of them in there and they promptly got out, so we'll see if they use it or not. But anyway, that's the beginning at least of the cat house and thanks for watching.